from Seattle, Washington. Extracting the signal from the noise, it's the Cube. On the ground at LinuxCon North America 2015. Now, here's your host, John Furrier. Hello everyone, this is John Furrier with SiliconANGLE. The Cube, we are on the ground here in Seattle for LinuxCon. And I'm here, I'm John Afada, who's the founder, uh, founder? of DCHQ, startup mm -hmm. in San Francisco. Uh, welcome to the On the Ground segment of theCUBE. Thank you very much, thanks for having me. So you guys had raised a little bit of cash, a little angel round from um, uh, Accelerator. You're here at the Container Conference, Linux Conference, all the action under the hood as we say. Tell us about what you guys are working on because this is where all the action is. I mean, Docker started here. I mean, That's Solomon's right. up on stage. You never know, you guys be the next breakout, the next unicorn. Hopefully. You guys gazing out in, <laughs> into the landscape there. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, we're ex very excited to be here. We're building uh, a platform for uh, managing the deployments and lifecycle management of uh, container-based apps. And uh, yeah, we're very excited. We basically launched the hosted platform uh, at this conference and the second version of our on-premise product. And you're a small team. How many people on your team? Uh, we're four. Uh, we're four people in uh, DCHQ. And uh, yeah, we're small and nimble, but uh, we develop very fast, yeah. You guys full stack developers? We, yep, we, we have. Of course, your Linux conference is going to say, of course you are. <laughs> of course, yes, exactly. <laughs> so this is the phenomenon that's going on out now is the 10X developer, Mark Andreessen, I think coined that term, or someone kicked it around, but really it shows that with, with the cloud and now with open source, you can have one developer do the role of what used to take 10. That's essentially what you're living that world right now. So what's it like? I mean, you're certainly nimble, you're undercapitalized at this point, you haven't gotten revenue yet. What's the mindset? Uh, I mean, the, b before we started this company, uh, I was at VMware, and uh, we were working with a lot of large enterprises, and uh, we definitely saw a gap uh, as far as uh, Docker container management, uh, and that was around governance in general, um, and enterprises were just fearful of this technology because they were afraid uh, um, of how developers were using it in the downstream environments. And so that's how the idea came about, and uh, we quickly built like a governance platform for these enterprises, and then we went back to our area of strength, which is application modeling and lifecycle management, and uh, and now that's what we provide. Uh, so downstream, you mean they've just been using a lot of Docker containers? I mean, they, it's getting out of control, it's like a wildfire, right? That's correct. Um, a Docker mm -hmm. Hub has been huge in terms of uh, promoting and pushing this technology forward, but at the same time, Enterprises were just afraid of um, what developers were using out of Docker Hub, and they wanted a bit more control into how they create the images, who gets access to what template, uh, and into what compute resource they can deploy this to. How do customers make sense of this, all this Docker container management? And that seems to be the land grab everyone's going for here. You got Kubernetes out there, you got all kinds of orchestration, legacy stuff out in open source. What the hell is the land grab going on here? Uh, it's it's a huge opportunity. It's definitely in in our belief that's going to be the uh, sort of the next wave of virtualization. Um, but at the same time, it doesn't have to be a complete shift from the way developers are developing applications today. And this is something we're bringing to the table um, uh, today. If enterprises wanted to adopt Docker, there's a, a bit of a learning curve in terms of learning the Docker file syntax and all that stuff. And so we, we provide the sort of the automated build feature and if you want to go with that approach, you can do that. But at the same time, we've uh, been able to allow enterprises to containerize their enterprise IT applications very, very quickly with minimal effort. And that's through, uh, by invoking bash script plugins that can customize containers at request time and post provisioning. And almost every enterprise has uh, expertise in shell scripting. So they don't have to learn a new syntax and a new, yet a new scripting language, they can just use Yeah, we saw the same thing in the Hadoop ecosystem. SQL on Hadoop seems to be the dominant trend now when everyone was kind of poo-pooing that. Um, so that's the common language. So same thing going on in your world, right? That's exactly right, exactly right. And, and we just made it a, a flexible way of uh, modeling very, very complex applications. You can invoke these plugins, you can do the environment variable bindings. We've modeled uh, like a MongoDB sharded cluster with two replica sets mainly because of our very sophisticated app model. So the trend that you guys are attacking now, if I get this right, is, is that the operational aspect of automation and, and complexity management is what you guys are attacking. In other words, you're providing some abstraction to the management of operationalizing Docker, is that correct? 
That's exactly right. Uh, we, we help op operationalize Docker as exactly like you said in terms of uh, doing the monitoring, managing the lifecycle, doing the backups, the updating of containers, the running containers that is. Uh, but at the same time, we're also uh, unlocking a new way of modeling these Docker-based applications for the actual developers themselves. Okay, so how you get paid? I mean, everyone needs to get paid. You got to do funding, you guys going to stop shipping the products, right. you're going to start shipping. What's going on? Give us the update. Right, so on-premise product uh, is now um, undergoing like uh, evaluation at uh, some really big companies right now. Uh, so it's uh, in the evaluation mode if you want. And the hosted platform is where we're hopefully going to uh, accelerate the adoption of uh, the startup users. And it's a different value proposition from all the governance and uh, the granular access controls I've been talking about. The startups basically want uh, an a, a cheaper alternative uh, to something like Heroku where uh, they're paying thousands thousands of dollars a month. They want to be able to use credits they already have on public clouds like Amazon and Azure and Rackspace. So you're a hosted service for on-prem. Is that correct? I uh, mean, how does that work? We, we have two versions. So the hosted platform, you sign up with us, you register your own cloud endpoints, and we just orchestrate the Docker-based application deployments on your own clouds. And the on-premise is sort of you run the whole thing on-premise. So what's next for the company? What do you, what's your goals? Uh, we, we're, this conference has been uh, tremendously helpful for us to just listen to the customers, what they want, and uh, we already have a, a prioritized list of enhancements that we need to make. And we're just looking to continue to improve and grow our business. And you, are you going to start selling the product? Oh, yeah. So it's definitely on sale. <laughs> So the host so you get some cash on the door, right? <laughs> Revenue. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I urge everybody to sign up on dchq.io. Uh, we have a three months free trial, but after that, uh, you can see the pricing uh, sort of section in our site, and hopefully, you can start paying us. All right, check it out. Uh, what's the final question I want to ask you? What's the vibe of the show out here? What's what's it like here at LinuxCon this year? What's the big theme? What's the vibe? What's going on? Yeah, I mean, as you said, container is the next big thing. Uh, obviously, that's the next. Uh, that, that, that's the main theme of the conference, even for like the hardcore Linux professionals in this conference that uh, don't necessarily care about this container technology, they seem to now sort of uh, understand what we're, we're trying to provide and how this can be uh, revolutionary. All right, we're here on the ground at LinuxCon in Seattle. This is the Cube's on the ground program. Look for us at SiliconAngle.tv. Thanks for watching.